Christmas is just around the corner, approaching very quickly, and first responders want to make sure that your holiday does not end up in smoke. Carlos Flores spoke with an Upstate Fire Department about what you need to keep in mind for a safe Christmas. Good evening, Nigel. When I growing up, I always was told when the tree is up, Christmas is here. And for those of you who decide to bring a real tree home this Christmas holiday, leaders with the Piedmont Park Fire Department wanted to share some helpful tips. It's the home stretch before Christmas, and while it's been great to see the tree lit up and covered in decorations, leaders with the Piedmont Park Fire District want to remind you that safety shouldn't take a day off. We can't stress it enough on our end for our residents and everyone to be safe during the holidays. We all get sidetracked, we all forget because we got so much going on, so much pressure on everybody, but we gotta remember our fire safety and safety in general. Ladder says by having your trees left indoors in the heat, they will become extremely flammable and could put you and your family at risk. But Christmas trees are extremely flammable when they're dry and they put off a whole lot of heat and it could cause a room to flash, which means completely engulfed in under 30 seconds to a minute. The district has been drying this tree for a month, a similar timetable when people take their own trees home for the holidays. And in just a few seconds, it lit right up, brighter than any Christmas lights you can buy, and a thousand times hotter too. The National Fire Protection Association says on average, 34% of Christmas fires are electrical, with the next highest cause being having a heat source too close at 20%. Ladder says, here's what you need to do to make sure you don't become another statistic. Check your Christmas lights for freight wires, water your tree every day, choose ornaments that are not combustible, and make sure you position your tree away from doors and windows just in case of an emergency. When you have the whole family around, everybody's there to celebrate, enjoy their time, and then their whole day and whole rest of the year gets just ruined, literally, by fire or by an issue. Now the fire, uh, now the National Fire Protection Agency says on average two people die and $12 million of direct damage is done each year through Christmas fires. Sydney, back to you.